Because once you enter this family, there's no getting out. Who is Vincent Palermo, the real Tony Soprano, the mob boss from New Jersey? Vincent Vinnie Ocean Palermo was a former de facto boss of the New Jersey Tuffley County crime family, who became a government witness. Fictional mob boss Tony Soprano is based on Palermo. In the early 1960s, Vincent Palermo married the niece of mob boss Chef Sam Delfilicante. Delfilicante invited him to his social club in New Jersey. He worked at the fish markets in the morning hours and socialized with the mobsters on the afternoons. On September 11, 1989, Palermo, Antonio Capo and Jim Jimmy Gallo murdered Fred Weiss under orders from boss Giovanni John the Eagle Ritchie. Weiss was associated with the mobsters from both the Delfricanti family and the Cambinos. John Gotti wanted Weiss dead and he asked the Delfricanti family for a favor. Weiss and his partners purchased a property in Staten Island, illegally dumped a large amount of dangerous medical waste there. Palermo killed Weiss when he left his house. He and Gallo shot him right in the face. Palermo was made and shortly after was appointed to Capo regime. Richie was sent to prison in 1989 and he appointed Johnny Boy Di Amato as his acting boss. Di Amato's girlfriend admitted that he was a bisexual. Richie ordered Palermo and Anthony Capo to murder Di Amato in order to avoid embarrassment to the Delfricanti family. In the early 1992 Di Amato disappeared. His body was never found. By the mid-90s, Vincent Palermo was the facto boss of the family, paralleling Tony Soprano and the Sopranos. After testifying, Vincent Palermo entered the Federal Witness Pro Program in 1998. The FBI recruited Ralph Curiano as a mob informant, who defeated the Lafricanti family. The agency gave him cell phones rigged with surveillance equipment to distribute the other family members. In October 1998, Vincent Palermo, trusted lieutenant Joseph Marcella, was shot to death, leaving an opening in the family. Corano was promoted to a made man. Palermo became a covenant witness. He confessed to killing Weiss and mobster Louis Larosso and to planning the murders of John D'Amato, Joseph Marcella, Charles Mayuri, Frank D'Amato and Tom Savata. He also implicated other different family members. Vincent Finney Ocean Palermo on September 14, 2009, the New York Daily News exposed Finney Ocean's new life in the witness protection as a strip club operator in Houston, Texas. The Penthouse Club and All-Star Men's Club was hotbeds of prostitution and drugs. He also owned a Mexican restaurant and a car wash, all next to another in Houston. On March 4, 2013, Palermo fled for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Under Chapter 11, a person's assets and debts are not liquidated, but the flyer is giving court protection from creditors. The comparison with Tony Soprano are that Palermo was a capo, but also an acting boss. Tony had the strip club, the balabing, and Palermo had the wiggles. They also both have the pork store. The Lafricanti and the Sopranos both had no boss, but four acting capos. Tony, had Vincent. Tony and Vincent have both have a mansion in Jersey and normal families with children. Tony was sweet for his children, and Vincent was also sweet for his daughters, and driving them each week to brownies. Jake and Mari was Jackie April. John the Amato acting boss was homosexual, and the Sopranos' fetus metaphor was a homosexual in the series. Junior Soprano, who faked dementia to avoid prosecution, was based on Vincent the Chin Gigante.